Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to see helper functions. As part of helper functions, we are going to see two methods. First is called exist. It waits for an object to appear and times out. So it will wait until the object appears on the screen and returns true if it appears and and if it does not appear post time off, it will return false. So if it exists, it will return true. If it doesn't exist, it will return false. So it's pretty straightforward in terms of it works with DOM, XPath and image. And uh, you the example is you can just specify them into quotes and provide an XPath or you provide a DOM and it will check and let you know whether the object exists or not on the screen. At the same time, we have another method called present. So present is very similar to exist, uh, except it does not wait until the timeouts and it Im immediately returns true or false. As soon as it sees it, if it can able to see it, it will tell you true or it will tell you false. So exist can be used when page is being loaded and you have some time in terms of object being loaded on the screen. Whereas present is very helpful. It is having improved performance. So it immediately checks. So post object is being loaded. If you want to really verify for all the objects, you could use present. These are the two basic small nuances of exist and present, but in, in general, they work very similar way. So let's see an example demo in detail. Welcome back to the example. So let's take a notepad plus plus. So we're going to see exist and present example for that i would be taking the same website example which is a bankrate.com so let's get started with the both example let's see one by one so say um tag ui and uh, helper function and example of exists and present so we're going to see both example so say launch the website and we're going to use say http as colon slash slash dot eight dot com so I'm not going to use timeout or anything, and uh, I'll be just using text to check if that object is uh, loaded on the screen. So as previously, we'll be using the same link example called credit card. So what we'll do is we'll be checking whether the credit card link is being loaded on the screen or not. So let, let's just check it with result. So here result, and we can say empty to start with. We can say PR result equal to, and we check for the exist, say exists, and we check in a single course the DOM object is credit card and close. So if it is true, so we start with empty, we say echo and say equal to result. So it should be empty. And now, same thing, once we have it, we should basically getting a true value if the link is present or link is loaded. Let's save this and run. This example will come back to present in a bit. So we'll minimize this and let's just launch our command prompt. Go to our search and say command prompt or search for command prompt. And once command prompt is there, launch it. And I'm going to move it a little bit further. Um, try to navigate to the location where you have stored your tag UI script. So in my case, I have stored it in this location. In my case, I have loaded it in this location. Yeah, say tag UI and say and tag and say hit enter. Browser launched. Now we need to to bankrate.com. Initially, you see the value is blank. Now it is loaded. It is waited for the object to be fully loaded. And then it is basically giving you a result as true. Let's see how much time does it take between this statement to this statement means after launching and uh, object appearing for that. So to, to know how much time it's taking, we can just use a method called timer as we have seen in the past. So it will start recording the time. We will echo, echo the time taken and we can say timer. So it will return you the time between these two statements. So now we would be using via result and we say same thing present. And we're going to use the same example, which is credit card and hit it. So we can just use the same value and we can see time difference between both statements. We can say baseline the term starting value and ending value. And we can basically 
tell how much time it's taking. Let's copy and paste. So we are getting time before you object being loaded and then we are also getting the time. Once the object is being loaded and then we uh, get the result as true. The same way present also checks for the object and then we'll basically get the result as true and post getting the result as true we are going to check whether what is the time it takes so this gives us the measure of which one is faster and when to use it L let's just execute it and see how does both perform so minimize this and let's execute it and say enter chrome browser launched now navigating to the bankrate.com so result is empty it took three seconds to load the website and uh, if you can see we can see this part of the statement consider this statement and uh, the result of this statement over here which took which took close to 4.96 seconds close to 5 seconds to really time out and get out of it whereas the statement over here uh, which is the statement over here took one second meaning the present took less time because it does it does not wait for the timeout it immediately checks and get out of it so it's much performs much faster but the only caveat is object should have been loaded if object is not loaded you'll always get a wrong value if there are any synchronization synchronization issue if website is faster or your computer is slower or computer is faster and website is slower in that particular case when you use present you will have a problem but other than that both works very similar and uh, the usage is very similar so with this true or false you could take decisions and based on the decision you can able to uh, report any information or perform some operations so this concludes exist and present example thanks for watching see you in another one